Hello everybody, this is Ski UK here. Um, Tesla Effect, a Tex Murphy adventure. It is the new game by Big Finish Games, based on the Tex Murphy series uh, from the 90s. Uh, they have done Under a Killing Moon, Pandora Directive, and Overseer. These were all full motion video FMV games, and um, they were probably the best ones of the ones that was attempted with FMV at the time. And at the time, CD technology allowed this, and then later the DVD technology. Just a second, I'll have to turn the audio down a bit. Right, um, so to get back to it, this is a... Uh, the day of launch, and I'm a huge Tex Murphy fan. I love the game, especially under a kind of moon. I thought I'd have a, a brief uh, half hour uh, session of first time experience in the game. Uh, I, I have uh, tried the demo and loved it, and, but this is the full game, so I don't know what's going to happen now. But let's have a look through the options. We have full screen, we've got screen resolution 1080p, subtitles, widescreen video, uh, best for 2K video, um, so I will take that right in here. Uh, field of view 60, which I think 70 is reasonable. Uh, screen brightness, and video brightness, we'll turn a little bit touch. Because the games are a little bit dark, I think, this one. Uh, quality. So we've got high, or we've got max. Um, so we've got render quality, light quality, shadow quality, dynamic shadow distance. And recent, just in case uh, we had a choppy video, I mean, tearing, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> right, audio, we've got effects, voice, music. things like that. So that's fine. Input. Uh, invert mouse, mouse sensitivity and movement. Don't know if you can rebind these but uh, anyway you've got the standard WESD for movement. Camera is your mouse. Smart like Alex. That's like your personal assistant with the inventory and all that. Uh, that's your tab or your right mouse button. Uh, exit is escape and interact, left mouse button, blah blah blah. Uh, flashlight F, sprint shift, quick save 5, F5, sorry, and F9 to load. And uh, just screen brightness. That's not too bad. Page up and page down, that's easy to remember. Okay, so we'll play. Casual mode. Uh, while using the flashlight, sparkles will appear around obstacles. I mean, objects. Sorry, that can be picked up. Right. The in-game pin system is accessible using points. Uh, some puzzles may be skipped from the menu. Doing will cost points. I think I'll go with casual mode because there is certain puzzles that take far too long to play. Right, so here we go. Oh, so excited. Where am I? Is this a dream? Not quite, Murphy. Then you're the, the big PI in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the earth, and fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you to oppose it. But why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. James Earl Jones, yes. <laughs> and the brief message about uh, the Kickstarters that backed the uh, game. I am proud one of them. 
Texas back. Yeah. I think we'll just skip there uh, for now. You really got a head on the head. Remember me? Your old pal Huck? Seriously, you look clueless. Uh, who or what are you? Jeez, how hard did you hit your head? Well, let me reintroduce myself. I'm your smart Alex, your personal assistant, version 1.5, fashioned three years ago in a factory with truly horrible working conditions. <laughs> you don't want to know. I'm your trusty tech-savvy sidekick whose primary functions include travel agent, inventory tracking and analysis, investigative advice, case notes, and I'm also a confidant and a best buddy, you gigantic oaf. Remember? Not really. Would you like a tutorial on my usage? Um, I think I'll skip the tutorial, but for those that might not be aware, that I think is the voice of Mysterious Science 3000 or 2000 or whatever it was. That used to be a review show, I think, back in the 90s or 80s. Um, never really watched it myself, but apparently he's big and all that, so it's nice to have him in the game. They've even got the old audio file for the You Have a Vax from Under a Killer Moon. That is so great. They've even got the tap downstairs steps. Graphics aren't too bad. Got nice shadows. Textures are not the sharpest, but they're definitely detailed enough. Right, uh, where's the fax machines? Uh, oh, over here. So, it turns to an eye when you want to examine and a hand to pick things up. Oh boy, a fax. So, right click, get your inventory. Uh, that's the inventory bit. And let's have a look. It's a note from my old friend Archie Ellis. Apparently he's out of town doing some research. When he returns, I'll need to ask him about the case we're working on. Okay, so Archie Ellis. I see my credenza is still keeping dust off the floor. I think that's the fast travel system. So, the Texas office. The interface is functional, but the thin lines and the small, unfancy text kind of is a bit of a negative for me. But it's perfectly fine, it works and everything. But it would have been nice if it was a bit more stylized and less undesigned, kind of thing. But it works, so that, anyway. And um, that's your hint system, I think. That's the flashlight, that's your pick up, and that's your uh, examine. So. Yeah, no detective worth his salt would be without a fax machine. That's right. <laughs> Ooh, money, money, money. What on earth is this amount of cash doing in my office? If someone was trying to hire me to do something, it probably wasn't legal. I better put this away until I know exactly why it's here. Okay. I wonder who give Tex all that money? Could be hush money. Keep quiet. Yeah, more furniture I don't recognize. Well, that's new. Yeah, one of the best things about the games of the time was um, you could click on everything and it 
more or less give you a quick snippet of uh, text giving a comment about it. My indispensable water cooler still doesn't have paper cups. <laughs> yeah, he must have made the custodial staff really, really angry. They've even got uh, seafood stuff now. I don't think they had them back in the day. Although it's common stuff now. Oh, that looks nice. Chandler Avenue. Oh, I've got an array of uh, fedoras here. Cool. These are the fedoras I've collected over the years, and I take great care of them. Hey, one of these has a hole in it. How did that happen? Hmm. Old trusty sidearm. Been with me since the beginning. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam! <laughs> hey, bam, bam, bam! Bam! Bam, bam! Bam! And you! Oops. <laughs> hey, hey, Sonny, can you help me out? My girlfriend threw my gun out of the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just pick it up and, uh... Hey, don't... Don't point that thing up here. That's not a toy, you know. Well, that's how it happened. <laughs> oh, my hell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now I remember. That is from Under a Killer Moon. Best uh, one out of the bunch, I think. Looks like somebody's wiped my computer clean. Oh, he's updated his computer, at least. Although I think the monitors need a uh, higher resolution. <laughs> oh yeah, have we got any files? Um, don't know if I'll pick any of them out, right? But sometimes I wish I had a talking gumball machine as my wacky sidekick. Now I thought Smart Alex would have kicked in there. <laughs> it's my Gene Autry fake book. Whenever I'm feeling low. I can sing the songs of my hero. This is where I keep my knickknacks and paddywhax. And give a doggy bone. <laughs> oh, come on, I have to see it. <laughs> oh, man, this record's broken in two. Hmm. You might have to fix it later for some reason. Maltese Falcon? I remember picking up this little souvenir. How long was I knocked out? One of my golf partners. Old bogey, we call him. <laughs> These are my credentials. They don't just give this to anyone. He has to pay a fee. Ah, my old trusty Victrola still seems the same. Plays my 78s. Oh, man. My Richie Haven signature guitar signature disappeared. <laughs> That'll teach me to get an autograph with a dry erase marker. <laughs> That's it, the fin Big Finish Detective. Ah, the Big Finish Detective by your Aaron Corners. <laughs> Fins make the best detectives. Aaron Corners, he did the uh, story for the game, if anybody wants to know. My camera books are great, but I prefer stories about his crazy nephews, Mike and I Camer. I try to collect all their candy comics. Hmm. No messages on the vid phone. Blue's always useful. Blue's always useful. That it is. Article on the Russian white movement. Am I truly so bored I'm reading Russian history? Well, this looks interesting. Probably a book on how to map out fun spots to visit inside your brain. Which was a puzzle in one of the all the text of the games, if I remember. Like a, a, a maze in the brain. So that might have been a little hint about that. Enigma. <laughs> Sounds like the story of my life. Why would I be researching this? It's one of my business cards, but it looks different. When did I change these? Oh, that would have been a great little perk for a Kickstarter. Have an official Tex Murphy PI detective card. Yeah, the rug really ties the room together. From here, I get a great view of Chandler Avenue, the original Boulevard of Broken Dreams. The textures don't seem to be very well made around here. 
it is a shame and anti antalizing is a bit apparent on the air lack thereof on the blinds I don't think that there was an air option for anti antalizing uh, nope although I think um, Matt from one of the developers I did the green screen stuff faces FX EA from Nevada uh, does work so I'll have to try that next time I play um, I'm not sure how long I've been playing so far but I'm just loving this exploring the first room so many memories on Saturday nights I pushed the furniture to the walls and cut loose on the dance floor <laughs> Oh, I did not imagine Texas bedroom to be like that. <laughs> and I certainly don't remember this piece of furniture. Looks like a genuine antique instead of something I normally get at a white elephant sale. Yeah, not many people wake up from blackouts with new furniture. What's up with the bed? Looks like it's for a Lothario instead of some hardworking down on his luck PI. Am I going crazy here? Picked it up at a government warehouse sale years <laughs> back. I've never had the nerve to open it all the way. Oh, I had the store permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom. People thought that was awfully presumptuous of me. Whoa. I've never seen this much money in my life. If this is my money, what were they paying me for? The door to my back storage room is locked. That's strange. Ah, that was for my first jackalope hunt. Yeah, you know, San Francisco looks way different now. Okay. I wonder if I click on them um, dance steps that would get the video from Under the Killing Moon. Not like Salsa it. dancing is a Murphy family tradition. I can't remember that alcove being there for the door. In the old games, and I think it was a little bit wider. The room. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the uh, Channel Avenue. Oh, no loading screen. Nice. Oh. So it wasn't a horrible dream. There are gun shell casings and a shot out window above the electronic shop. I know I'm involved, but how? I should investigate the area and then find out if anybody else heard the commotion. Okay, that must have been part of the uh, intro, which we uh, skipped. Never mind. Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. Oh yeah. Ooh, where do you have your stuff? It's an empty vial. A vial of what though? Hmm. There's me speeder. Where is he? He's up at the window. I think we got him. Someone was shooting from the top of the electronic shop. This photo was taken from the top floor of the electronic shop. Who's over there spying on me? This photo was taken from the top floor of the electronic shop. Hmm, nice graffiti art. Mm, can't really make out what it says. I assume you can't uh, examine that. No quick uh, wit from text about it. No one knows these back alleys of Chandler quite like me. Injected himself. I don't care. Drag him into the speeder. What is that? Someone was getting abducted. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no one knows these back alleys of Chandler quite like me. Whoa, it's a picture of me at my office. Someone's been spying on me. 
from the top floor of the electronics shop. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower, a Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related to a case I was working on. Where's he shooting from? Look, 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 the top window! Alright, just shut out our headlights. Remember speeder headlights coming down the alleyway. Motor oil, the secret ingredient to Louis' Armageddon blend. Louis, it looks like the dumpster escaped unscathed. Nice graffiti art. The city looks really nice. Mike and Ike Hammer. Another Mike and Ike Hammer. Candy Cane Confidential. I want to meet somebody. I want to have a chat with somebody. Crime scene through my enter. I'm a PI. Uh, it's a Mike and Ike Hammer candy comic. Citizen. These dumpsters have housed very these dumpsters have housed various individuals over the years. It's always nice to know I'll have a place to go if I can't make room. Well, looks like Louie at the Bruin Stew is preparing to open up chef. You should go talk to him. Maybe he heard something. Um, where is it? And how would you know? Am I even near it? This is the Bruin Stew run by Louis Laments. Nicest guy on Chandler. You let me run up a tab a time or two. Louise. Cool. I'm here to see my pal Louie, but I see a pretty brunette at the counter. I have the feeling she recognizes me, but I have no idea who she is. Well, hello, stranger. Ooh, sexy. Pinch me. This. Totally feels like a dream. That has got to be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Just for that, I'm gonna get you some coffee. Whoa, nice. Yeah, that'd be great. I think the Armageddon plan was just a titch of I know how you like it. Like your women. Oh, Actually, I like my coffee like my heart. Black? Oh, I can hold it all right. It's just when I drink it, I get really drunk really fast. Is that blood? Ah. Oh, hush. Ah. You're not picking fights again. I wish these uh, were a bit more descriptive. I don't know what they all are. Little fantasy, uh, cautious first step, stranger danger. I mean, which which one would you pick? I'll probably go for the little fantasy. <laughs> for a little role playing who do you think you are mr tall blonde and lovely maybe i should go find louie you shouldn't go drinking without me next time call me and we'll get sloshed together oh geez i'm late i got a new extension at work i'll send it to your smart alex please Go see Dr. Donnie here at the North Hill Clinic. Call me after and tell me what she says about that noggin of yours. See you, Uncle Louie. Uh, see you, Taylor. Uncle Louie. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Murphy. What are you doing here? Mr. Murphy. Come on, Louie. What happened to Moy? Is this something I can do for you? Because if not, you got stuff to do in the he hasn't changed one bit. 
<laughs> oh, it's in the tattoo. Mom. <laughs> oh, just class this, this man. Why are you acting mad at me? You know why. You drunk again? I told you. You ain't allowed in here. You've been drinking. Well, I don't feel drunk. I'm just my brain's a little foggy. What happened to your head? I don't know. I woke up on the fire escape. I go into my apartment and everything is different. The street, Chelsea's newsstand, you. Everything is completely different. I mean, I don't know whether I'm tripping here or having a bad dream or something. What's the last thing you remember? Before you woke up? Uh, I don't know, but something with Chelsea. Chelsea? What day do you think it is? No, hold on. What year do you think it is? <sighs> what year? Are you serious? It's 2043. Oh, jeez. Look at that calendar. Over there? On the fridge? Ooh, who's she? What the hell's Luscious going Lucy. on here? Last night, Chelsea and I went to the Golden Pagoda. I think the wording was uh, very, very attractive. Oh, no! What? It's me. Look, somebody has stolen our car. I mean, here I am. My speeder's stolen out here. I'm sitting on a great... <laughs> Uh, would you guys like a lift to the cop shop? No, we'll walk. He's really just trying to do us a favor. Chelsea, I'm getting really bad feeling about this. It's like some sort of deja vu. The Fabergé World Tour the most exotic and exquisite exhibit on the Who's your mate? Oh, that's Tex. He's having a very bad day. That true, Tex? Oh, no. Everything's just going peachy. Well, things could get worse, huh? He shot me. He, he shot both of us. He shot me in the belly. Why is there anything? That's what I'm trying to tell you, Mike. It wasn't last night. It was seven years ago. What the hell is that? Looks like you got injected with something. Maybe that's what's messing with your head. Maybe it's that goose egg. Either way, buddy, you gotta see a doctor. What happened to Chelsea? What about Chelsea? Where is she? I mean, is she okay? You said to never say nothing about her. Never again. Louis, I don't know what kind of bastard I turned into over these last seven years. But this is me, Tex. You gotta tell me where Chelsea is. Louis, please tell me. That night, you and Chelsea just disappeared. You showed up a few weeks later. You, you couldn't remember nothing then, neither. But Chelsea, she never showed up. You shouldn't be driving in your condition. I'll call you a cab. And I think we'll just leave it for there. And I'll probably do another video sometime tomorrow. Well, I better not see the specifics. Just expect another video soon. Um, so, let's recap. Tex Murphy, the Tesla effect. Brand new Tex Murphy game coming out today, the 7th of May 2014. We've had about 45 minutes or so, I think, uh, of experience in the uh, first steps of the game. So far, I love it. It's got the whole text feeling, the vibe, the characters, Louis. <laughs> He's brilliant still. Love the voice on that. Uh, 
Tex, he's Chris Rock, Chris uh, Jones, he's uh, he's just perfect man. So, in the video quality, oh it's gorgeous, high res, 2K or something in it, but it's a 10, 1080p monitor, but still, it's pretty nice. Um, so thank you for watching the uh, first experience of, of the new Tex Murphy game um, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.